In today's video, I wanted to talk about why I think that the Vans Vault Authentic LX are the best Vans sneakers out there. Now, of course, this is my own opinion, and I know not everyone out there will agree, but I'll let you know why I think they're the best Vans sneakers out there. In this video, I'll be talking about the difference between the Vault version and the regular version of Vans, why I think they're the best Vans out there, and the sizing, comfort, and styling of the shoe too. It's gonna to be a video packed full of goodness, so strap yourself in. Even the neighborhood dog is getting excited. Hopefully the microphone isn't picking him up, but he's very excited. I'll leave links to everything down in the description box. If you like this video, please feel free to leave it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's talk about these beautiful sneakers. So first off, I need to talk about what makes the Vault version different from a regular pair of Vans. So apart from the box being different from the regular box you get with Vans, the materials used for the Vault models are more premium than the regular Vans. From first glance, you can see the rubber foxing around the shoe is higher than on a regular pair of Vans. This gives the shoe a more balanced look and it makes the toe box appear slightly narrower, which I really love. The higher foxing also adds more protection and it also means the sole isn't gonna pull away from the canvas upper as easily. There's no stripe around the foxing like with the regular Vans for a cleaner finish and I definitely prefer the cleaner look. The sole is also slightly chunkier than the standard Vans, which means they're gonna hold up better. The insole of the Vaults is also a bit more spongy, a bit more cushioned, so it's gonna be a bit more comfortable. The difference in comfort isn't a huge leap, but it is noticeable. The small tab on the shoe on the Vaults is in blue instead of in black, and the rear heel tab is slightly different too. It's not really something that you'll notice until up close, but nice small details nonetheless. So overall, not a huge difference between the shoes, but the extra details I feel are in all the right places in the vaults. The main difference from an aesthetic point of view is that rubber foxing. It makes the shoe look a bit more premium and a bit classier in my opinion, and I would pay the extra just for that detail. The vaults are also harder to get, even the Vans website doesn't stock them. So it is nice to have a less common pair of Vans. So what makes the Vans Vault Authentic the best Vans sneaker out there? If not one of the best sneakers out there full stop? Well, Vans Authentics have always been one of my favorite sneakers and the Vault version with those extra details just take one of my favorite sneakers to the next level. These shoes are a bit of a blank canvas and because of that, they go with pretty much anything. Also, because they are a blank canvas, it's really difficult to get bored of them. With some of Vans' other popular models like the Skate High or the Old Schools, you do see them everywhere and I do get a bit bored of seeing them. Now you do see the Authentics everywhere too, but the Skate Highs and the Old School have that stripe down the side, so they stand out a lot more. The more something stands out, the more you notice it. And because they're all very popular shoes, you notice these models a lot more and I tend to get a bit bored of them more easily. The lack of detail on the Authentics makes them a lot more subtle and you could probably pass a load of people in the street wearing them and you probably wouldn't notice. Now I own several pairs of skate highs and old school so this is no hate against the shoes, it's just I do get a bit more easily bored of them. It's also worth mentioning that the Vans era are very similar to the Authentics but they've got more cushioning around the opening of the shoe. Although this sounds good and it does add extra comfort to the shoe, it makes the shoe a bit more bulky too. I prefer the slimmer look of the Authentics. I like the cleaner look they give off. So this is why I prefer the Authentics over the Eras. And when it comes to styling the Authentics, this is where the shoe really shines for me. They're easy to wear as a casual shoe, but they're also just as easy to dress up and pass off as a smarter shoe too. Personally, I like the black and the off-white colorways best. They're the most versatile options and they look the smartest in my opinion. These sneakers also look good with any shape trouser, denim, shorts, joggers, and there's not many sneakers out there that can pull it off as effectively. You can wear them dressed up with a shirt and a nice pair of trousers, or you can dress them down and wear them with shorts and a t-shirt. They're so versatile, they go with anything. You can wear a pair when you're a toddler, or you can wear a pair when you're 80 years old. And at either age, they're not gonna look out of place. They're worn by people who are into all different sorts of styles, punks, goths, hipsters, skaters, minimalists, and every style that I've been through over the years, I've always had a pair of Vans in my rotation. They're worn by people who don't care about fashion in the slightest, and they're also worn by people who live and breathe fashion. How many other sneakers can you say all of that about? There's not that many. And you know what? I might go as far to say that the Vans Authentics may be the most versatile and easy to style sneaker in the world, but it would definitely be a close call between these and the Chuck 70s. And maybe that's a future video idea. 
Let me know if you'd like to see a Converse versus Vans video on the channel. Let me know in the comments. But anyway, there's so many brands out there that have been heavily inspired by the Vans Authentics and they brought out their own versions of the shoe. Of course, they weren't the first shoe of their kind, but since their creation in 1966, they've definitely helped influence a lot of shoes. They've remained popular ever since their creation and they never go out of style. So that's the sign of a true classic. It's a beautiful design. They age well and they hold up well, especially if you look after them. And for the price, you're gonna have a hard time finding anything that beats them. The only issues I've had with them is after I've had a pair for a long time and I've worn them to death, after a few years, the canvas can start to rip. At the end of the day, they are shoes and they are gonna wear out. But when that time comes, at least they're not gonna cost you a fortune to replace. I wear this sneaker all year round and if I could only have one pair, I would have a pair in black and white because you can wear that in the summer and you can just as easily wear it in the autumn and the winter. So now let's talk about the sizing and the comfort of the shoe. When it comes to sizing, I choose my regular size in all pairs of Vans and the vaults are no different. I went for my true size in these two. Like most fans, they have a decent amount of room in the toe box, so if you have slightly wider feet, then these might be a good option for you. They're not the most comfortable sneaker in the world, but I've done a lot of walking in them, and I mean a lot of walking, and my feet are okay. I've been for four hour plus hikes in these, and my feet didn't bleed, which is always a good sign. It's not like you're walking on clouds, and there's definitely more comfortable options out there, but they're fine. These are a really classic shoe. They're always great to have in your rotation, and they're affordable. What more can you want? They're my go-to sneaker when I'm heading out the house because they go with anything. They're my go-to sneaker when I can't think what to wear because they go with anything. I'll even wear them for an evening out on the town. Now, I don't dance. I just tend to sit there and eat and drink. But if you've worn these as a dancing shoe, let us know how they felt. But the Vans Vault Authentic LX is a beautiful sneaker and I'm so pleased to have a pair in my rotation. But what do you think about the sneaker? And if they're not your favorite pair of Vans, what pair are? Let me know. But if you enjoyed this video, please do leave it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See ya.